The IL-114-300 regional aircraft is expected to receive certification by the end of 2025. This will represent a major step in the advancement of Russian civil aviation. Daniel Brennerman, the managing director of the SV Ilyushin Aviation Complex, has said that this aircraft is a substantial improvement in regional air travel in Russia. The key reason is its superior fuel efficiency compared to foreign competitors. The L-114-300 uses 560 kilograms of fuel per hour. That is about 16% less than the ATR-72-600, its main foreign competitor. At a typical load of 66 passengers over 1,000 kilometers, its fuel consumption is 21.8 grams per passenger per kilometer. This is lower than the ATR, which burns between 22 and 24 grams per passenger per kilometer. Planned improvements include a reduction of 628 kilograms in operating empty weight. As a result, range is expected to increase to 1,450 kilometers, with fuel burn reduced to 19 grams per passenger per kilometer. Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin noted the IL-114-300's 14% 14 efficiency advantage over foreign models at the Inoprom exhibition. This underscored the government's confidence in the program. Historical data shows that the original Soviet-era L-114 models were more fuel-efficient than comparable Western aircraft. For example, they outperformed the de Havilland Q-400 next-gen. This highlights the IL-114 family's strong track record in economical regional aviation. The IL-114-300 has already completed more than 350 test flights. This shows that it is nearly ready for commercial service. The flight test program resumed in 2024 after delays using multiple prototypes. The second prototype alone has flown more than 100 times, with a total of 280 flight hours. Tests have verified stability, control, and the reliability of all onboard systems, most of which are made in Russia. The United Engine Corporation's TV71 17ST01 turboprops have been tested for more than 2,000 hours, proving excellent fuel efficiency and performance. The L114-300 is now in its final certification phase. Rostec and United Aircraft Corporation confirm that serial deliveries will begin in 2026. The aircraft is intended to replace Soviet-era regional planes, such as the An-24. Its design makes it especially useful in remote regions and harsh climates. The project has full support from the Russian government and industrial partners. A leasing deal has been signed between the State Transport Leasing Company and Aurora Airlines. Three IL-114-300 aircraft will be delivered starting in 2027. This marks the type's entry into operational service and the gradual replacement of old Soviet planes. The contract supports the goal of improving air connectivity in the Russian Far East. The IL-114-300 was designed with the Far East in mind. Aurora Airlines operates many regional routes in tough environments. Compared to foreign alternatives, the IL-114-300 is more fuel-efficient has lower operating costs, and offers better reliability. This makes it especially valuable for improving access in remote regions. Aurora's CEO, Konstantin Sukorobrik, has pointed out the financial difficulties of airport infrastructure in the Far East. He suggests reducing airport fees in small settlements to improve regional flight viability. Aurora also plans to oversee some airport operations directly. This would help control costs, ensure timely service, and support the expansion of its already large route network. The GTLK contract highlights Aurora's role as the main regional carrier in the Far East. It also reflects the government-backed effort to modernize the fleet. The wider strategy includes airport upgrades, new aircraft, lower costs, and a potential increase in passenger traffic of up to 5 million per year by 2030. Aurora's adoption of the L-114-300 is central to these plans. The aircraft provides modern, 
efficient, and locally suitable commuter service. This makes it key to both economic and social development in Russia's Far East. Dmitry Yadrov, head of Rosaviatsia, has confirmed that the IL-114-300 certification is in its final stage. Approval is expected by the end of 2025. This marks the market launch of one of Russia's most important civil aircraft programs. The L-1-14-300 is not just a replacement for aging Soviet planes. It represents a major technological step designed for Russia's diverse regional needs. The IL-1-14-300 can operate in extreme conditions, including the Arctic and Far East. It can fly from small, poorly equipped airstrips, including unpaved runways. Enhancements include improved crew comfort, more composite materials, a new digital cockpit, and higher fuel efficiency. UEC Klimov has completed certification tests for the TV-71-17 ST-01 engines. They are now cleared for unrestricted operation. These engines provide more takeoff power and better fuel economy than foreign rivals. The IL-1-14-300 is central to Russia's plan to reduce dependence on foreign aircraft. It has 64 to 68 seats, making it a strong replacement for models such as the AD-42, AR-72, and Bombardier Q-Series. Over 50 aircraft are planned for delivery by 2030, with production starting in 2026. The program also honors the legacy of Sergei Ilyushin. His design bureau produced Soviet aircraft known for durability and reliability in harsh conditions. The IL-1-14-300 continues this tradition while adding modern technology. The certification process is closely managed by Rosa Viazia. Weekly reviews ensure that every change to the type certificate is approved. This structured approach guarantees safety and performance compliance before commercial service begins. The IL-1-14-300 is expected to become a flagship of Russia's regional aviation. It will expand air access, boost passenger traffic, and support socioeconomic growth across remote areas. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.